Hello everyone, I am James and today let's unbox a water level controller and see how to install it. This is a water level controller for installing it only with the system where there is only one overhead tank. This is for not for the system which has an underground tank and a overhead tank. This is only for overhead tank. So we have a float sensor, a weight for uh, adjusting the full and empty level. A warranty card has been given and a instruction manual or instruction card. Warranty card says that if we send them a review then they will give a 3 months extra warranty. So this is the circuit diagram how you can do the connection. It is very simple. Anyone can understand it. Output, input and sensor connectivity with a switch automatic off and manual so this is the unit on the unit also they have given a picture how we can do the connections output input and sensor so this is the float sensor it has a switch inside so now let me Hole, drill a hole on the tank. I am using a scissor to drill the hole because I did not bring any drilling machine because I am at a client's place, my friend's place. This is the weight. The open end of the float sensor inserted in the hole of this weight and then tighten the nut on that or a bolt, plastic bolt on that. So here you can see when the water level reaches at this point the motor will turn on. So this level motor will turn on on the last ring level. Here where I am holding the hand you just make a mark there. On the topmost level you should make a mark and this level when the water will fill up to this level the motor will turn off. At this level the motor will be on and at this level the motor will be off. Now if you want the water to fill to the higher still more higher level then you need to bring the weight upwards. Just loosen the bolt, move the weight upwards and fasten that bolt so that the weight will not move up or down. So now the water will be more filled in the tank. But motor on level will be same. Only the tank filling level will be different. Here where I am holding my left hand just make a mark on the wire not on the tank. Mark uh, on the wire so that the wire needs to be pulled up to that level. Just insert the wire and open end of the wire from inside the tank pull it up pull it up up to the level where the marking is been done pull it up now upside tie a knot to the wire I am tying a knot so that later if I want to adjust the level, the motor on off level, then we can pull the wire upside or just insert it inside. And when the level is confirmed, then we can fill the hole with the silicone sealant. Okay. Tie a knot tightly. Now for connectivity just peel the insulation on the cable and inside so see that both the wires are not cut at the same point one wire should be long and one wire should be short in the, in the same way the white wire which you see here that is 
it comes from the watt level controller that also should be cut into one wire long and one short so the short wire from the sensor should be connected to the long wire of the white cable white cable and the long wire of the sensor should be connected to the short cable of the now here i am using insulation tape instead of insulation tape you can use heat shrink tubes for insulating the copper wire where we connected and for dressing the cable we can use cable tags now pulling the cable from the window from the second floor we have brought the cable up to the first floor because the motor controller motor on off switch is in the first floor so this is the motor on off switch or on off controller here this two wires are input phase and neutral i will take this wire itself because it is a little bit lengthy i will cut it and use the same wire for connecting to the water level controller so this water level controller i have used many places at my home i am using it since 2 years and few of my relatives i have connected it maybe around 8 months so back all the controllers are working fine so i thought of making this video and i see many of the people they switch on the motor and the water keeps on overflowing wasting the water so better to use this unit because it doesn't cost too much it costs around 1200 indian rupees plus cable the length of cable depends where the water level controller is located installed and where the tank is there so at what distance both are such so much of length cable we need that will be added to the cost of the water level controller so here we can see first is output phase neutral and input and then sensor need to be connected as shown in the diagram the diagram is provided with the unit now here this is the input to the motor insert the cable fasten the screws lock the door now for fixing the water level controller i am not drilling any screws any holes i am not fixing it with screw i will be fixing it with a double sided foam sticker so the because the unit is not so heavy it is very light it does hold to the double sided foam sticker if you have fear that it will fall or any such thing will happen you can drill holes and fix it with the screws fastening it with the screws is better idea but here client said he want to shift the position of this unit so i have fixed it with only with the double sided foam sticker if this place is going to be permanent then you can drill holes and fix it so i am using double sided foam sticker two layers because in between there is a obstacle that is there is two lines fiber lines are there that are like obstacles and they don't allow the sticker to hold to the wall so now apply super glue again i have used super glue on both the sides now clean the wall free it with from dust and another loose particles any of the loose particles just free it apply super glue just press it press and hold it for nearly 2 to 3 minutes 
no need to worry now let's switch it on and check top position is automatic in between it's off and bottom it's manual now I'll switch it manual it, the motor is on and in the between it is off and top it is automatic presently it is in automatic position so the sensor is off as you had seen the water level was full and top light it indicates motor is on hope this video is going to be helpful for you thank you for watching everyone have a good time